Hi Libra. So I thought I'd do a second um, reading, current status of your love life reading. All right. So Libra, this is for Libra, um, Venus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You can find out by visiting various astrology websites where your placements are. Anybody else who is not those placements, you'll be cross-watching. So Libra, what's the current status of your love life? Okay, let's pick up more messages other than the one from yesterday. You guys are um, taking back your power and stepping into your authority, okay? You guys are also coming out of dealing with something codependent and toxic. You guys are also meeting somebody who's very much in their power. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini man who's very much in his power. Um, this man here, it, you know, he's also a Capricorn for some of you guys. This man here wants a new beginning with some of you guys. Okay, he wants to offer you something as well. All right. And you guys are also having a new beginning and taking back your power and taking action. So why is all this happening for you, Libra? It's because you guys are, are, you know, going straight. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini man who he might be getting arrested for some of you guys. Okay, he's getting chained. Um, and you guys are getting away from this person. Perhaps some of you guys, this person was abusive and they're coming out as being abusive. Now, whatever is happening, it's all happening because of an earth sign man who he might have died, okay? There might be an earth sign person who died, an earth sign person who ascended, an earth sign person who decided to change and become more grounded, become more realistic, you know, turn over a new leaf. And it's because they've made a decision for themselves, okay? This is what is causing for, you know, this person here to be trapped or this person here to realize how trapped they have been. It depends on who they are. Something sudden has happened to a Gemini man. Something all of a sudden, something happened unexpected as well. You might not have heard about it. You might be getting ready to hear about it. Some of you guys, you don't know about it just yet. Okay, some of you guys, you know about this. This is causing you great unrest, causing you a great amount of anxiety. And the reason why is because whoever this person is, you were committed to them. Okay, you're also, um, some of you guys were supposed to marry this person. Some of you guys, you know, this person might have been cheating on you. They might have been denying you a new beginning. You might not have been able to have a new beginning with this person. All right. This person was trapped, abusive, abused. They were honest though, okay? And they were strong. It was really difficult for them to speak their truth and have this new beginning for themselves, okay? This person might have, you know, they might have got some decimation in their life. Something devastating has happened to a Gemini man. You know, he's freeing himself or he's being free by force, okay? And this is a Gemini, okay? Oof. But there's also Aquarius Libra man as well that's, you know, taking back his power and coming in Ooh, oh my goodness you guys do not understand what's getting ready to go down okay so you guys <laughs> um in the recent past oh my goodness what happened in this situation oh invalidation invalidation <laughs> back into japan all right you guys um <laughs> something fucking happened you guys was dealing with invalidation galore. <laughs> you was not getting the recognition that you deserved. You was not getting the energy that you put out. Oh my goodness. You guys were dealing with somebody who was abusing the fuck out of you. Oh my God. You guys were dealing with a situation that was so abusive. Oh my goodness. You were dealing with a man or a woman who was so abusive. Okay. You guys were be dealing with somebody who was hurting you. Okay, you guys might have got a diagnosis. Some of you guys, it's like you've been suppressing love. You were dealing with a narcissist. Oh my goodness, you're de you were dealing with a narcissist in the in the recent past, and it's because you just you didn't see your worth. Oh gosh, this person was trying to take what you had <clears throat> without earning it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, this person was also trying to take um an investment. They were trying to semi invest. Oh my gosh. Oof. You guys were dealing with somebody who should not have been in your life. Okay. This was somebody who you might not even have feelings with. You didn't you didn't even have feelings with this person. Whoever this Gemini man is, you never even really had feelings for him. Okay. And you just didn't. All right. You might you might not have even embraced your feelings. Let's just put it that way. Some of you guys, you dumped on this person. All right. And you also um 
you also, what's it called? You might not have even seen his worth either, okay? You guys were just dealing with a lot of worries. You were living in your worries and this was bringing you a lack of victory, okay? And why were you dealing with this? You guys needed to get clear. Some of you guys needed to cut ties with certain folks, okay? You guys were also dealing with a lot of abuse, okay? Somebody, somebody was abusing you. You might've been abusing them right back. Oh my fucking God, what happened? I can't even fucking tell you what the fuck happened just now. I feel like you guys don't even know what the fuck just happened just now in your love life. Cause I feel like other things happened elsewhere as well, but it's also tied to your love life. You're devastated, but at the same time, you're fucking not. <laughs> You're fucking not. Did you hear me? Fucking not. Because, but I also feel like, what the, what the hell is this? Somebody might have got back in an abusive relationship with some trash ass fucking dude. And he's trash. Oh my God. Well, I don't even know what happened, Libra. You're like, can you tell me? Barbie. Barbie. I don't know. I only know as much as you know, honey. This situation is so perplexing. Oh my fucking God. Oh my, this was, this was an experience, but this was also a whole mood. This was devastation. Oh my goodness, you guys do not know what the fuck happened. What the hell is this? You guys might be dealing with baby narcissism. Some of you guys, it's a little part of your body that's devastated. Perhaps there's a part of yourself that's going through devastation right now. <laughs> Perhaps there's a part of a, a new beginning in health and vitality that you're not embracing, okay? Some of you guys, it's like you might be dealing with something secretively, okay, and not trusting your intuition and surrendering to it, okay, and embracing yourself fully. So much has happened in the recent past, Libra. Oh my goodness. You can't tell anybody what happened, but nobody could tell you either. All right. So in the distant past, in your love life, you guys lost a battle. And you lost a battle to a virus. Some of you guys, you might have got a virus. Oh my God. What happened? Oh my God, you got some devastation, okay? Some of you guys, you dealt with a liar, okay? And they took advantage of you in the distant past, all right? This was just, you was dealing with a sociopath. He, he took advantage of you, okay? This situation taught you a lesson, but it also brought you blessings, okay? Now these blessings, they were beautiful. This is a blessing in walking away from a bad habit, okay? But this is a blessing. Because this bad habit, you didn't have to walk away from it. But it just brought you a blessing, okay? And it's a blessing to go towards your wish fulfillment, okay? You guys lost a battle. You guys was dealing with somebody who they might have took advantage of you. They might have came to take you down from your upper ground. That's period, okay? They were trying to knock you down. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody who knocked you down in every way. Oh my God. Can you tell me more about what happened here in the distant past? Oh my goodness. You might've stepped into your power, embraced yourself fully, okay? You lost a battle, honey. Now you lost a battle because you didn't embrace a new beginning in being grounded, a new beginning in prosperity and health. And this was a new beginning in taking a look at your contrast. Some of you guys are very contrasty, right? You buy into lack and um, you buy into not being good enough, not feeling good enough. And so, um, you know, you might have went through something just so you can understand what that was and so you can heal that issue. OK. All right. <clears throat> you refused. You were too paranoid to take a look at yourself. OK. Some of you guys, it's like you lost you lost you lost complications, complications. OK. That's what I'm hearing right now. OK. You lost the upper ground in a battle, okay? And, you know, it's because, you know, you are, you are, you know, perhaps other people around you, you know this for certain what happened to them, but it's because you were not being grounded, okay? Whatever this was, it was also blocking you from seeing a new beginning in facing your contrast. And also realizing how other people were putting their paranoia on you, into you, whatever. Only so somebody, one did. But I feel like um, a lot of people put their paranoia on you, okay? Some of you guys, it was just energetic attack, you know? Somebody might have sent dark energy your way. And you had to, you know, battle your shadow and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. I feel like you guys still don't know what happened. But now you guys are stepping into your power. And you're stepping into your power and embracing the present moment, all right? 
because something has happened. Something devastating has taken place. Something devastating has taken place. And it's with a it's with a man. And it's because some of you guys, a lot of you guys wondering here, you're healthy. Okay. A lot of you guys are healthy. You might have gotten a clean bill of health. Or you might just know that because you made changes already a long time ago before this even happened. But um, you know, you're you're um you're um you're healthy and you care about your health, you know. But this Gemini man here, he don't care. Okay. Jesus, I want to look into more of what happened. Something fucking happened, and it's like so much has fucking happened, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So right now, all right, you guys. So, what's on your conscious thoughts and our desires um, from now to the next time we talk? Jesus. All right. So right now, you know what's gonna be on your mind is deception, somebody cheating, somebody being deceivious, somebody you know pretending to plan a future with you but not really planning a future with you. Oh my goodness, what has happened? Oh my God, you guys are introspecting on this. This already happened. Somebody somebody came into your life like, oh yeah, forever, forever. And then they didn't do nothing like that, okay? You know, and they brought you a lot of devastation. They stole your plans and thwarted your vision, period. That's what this person did. They also worked against you. Jesus. They worked against you. And you're introspecting on it because I feel like this is somebody who you can't let go of. You don't want to ever let go of this person or this person. You know, it's like you semi don't want to because, you know, you don't want to move on from him or her. All right, you guys. So you guys are receiving spiritual enlightenment about this. This is bringing you a new beginning. That's You're thinking about something that already happened. It's bringing you a new beginning in every way. That's amazing. And you guys are manifesting. And you guys are also receiving recognition as a result of this. So why are you guys thinking about plans that didn't go to fruition and connections that didn't work out? Because you guys are getting a, um, a blessing, okay? A major blessing is coming your way it's, if it's not already here. And it's because you took action. You broke out of a bad habit, okay? You guys move forward in a pattern that's good for you. You're in the right sort of energy. Okay, and you guys also embrace energy very well. So that's why you have this good fortune, right? And so you didn't realize how many bitches were jealous of you trying to thwart you, okay? And I feel like there is an energy, of course there's a, of course there's a fucking broad involved. Of course there's a broad. There's always a fucking broad. That's how it always goes, is a broad. But you don't care about the broad. You know what I mean? It's not about her, all right? I'm not even feeling, I know it's several broads, okay? I'm not feeling her. I'm feeling this fucking loser. Okay. I'm not sure if he got devastation with you, Libra. Settle down. Okay. Some of you guys are jumping up. <laughs> Just bring the documents and then you'll be fine. Just bring the documents. Stop. Ugh, I know. It's like, just get the documents, okay? And if you don't want to get the documents, settle down, breathe in and out, and remember how events really took place. And if you weren't shysty, right, then you don't have to worry. If you never do shysty shit, then you don't have to worry about something shysty happening to you. <laughs> they're just lying in two face and they're hiding all the bad stuff that they do, but they can't hide it. Okay, <laughs> that's it. So you guys, I want to know more about what's happening to this Gemini man, because I feel like I can't describe it. This Gemini man is having a total fall from grace complete in every way. He's having complete and utter total fall from grace. Jesus. He's going through complete anxiety and unrest. He might be having brain surgery. Okay, there's a Gemini man. He's having brain surgery. He could be dying. Okay, he might have already died. But he's, ha he's definitely having like a brain issue, some sort of nervous issue. He might be having, uh, you know, MS. He might be having something happen to him. They might not know what to call it. And that's it. Jesus. They don't know what to call it. Oh my goodness, God. This man has lost so much. Oof. This man. <laughs> Woo. This 
Gemini man. <laughs> but we have to remember he's also Aquarius and a Libra for some of you guys too. But I'm just picking up on a Gemini man that is laughable what is taking place in his life. But I just want to know what happened. I feel like I feel like with him, it's like you never know what fucking happened. <laughs> he just kind of comes in roaring and just being the way he is. You know what I mean? He just he's bah, 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 boom. He's ungrounded, honey. He's not here. He's not grounded, babe. Don't worry about it. You're not crazy. I feel like you guys check yourself often around this individual. You always are checking, double checking back and forth, right? He's that's him. It's him. Okay. He's just messing with your head. He's a narcissist. He's a cluster B fuck. He's a cluster B fuck tard. Get it? Fuck tard. Okay? <laughs> I I don't hate him either, but I don't love him. I want to understand. Um, I understand your feelings. So you guys, um, you know, you guys are like a mess. I feel like your mind is going to be like a mess around this person. You can't tell me because that's how deceptive they are. That's all. The, that's how shysty they are and ungrounded. That's all the shit that they're doing behind the scenes while acting like they're normal. Okay. That's why when you think about them, you get all unsettled and you get you move into the mirror dimension and stuff. You move into different di dimensions. That it's like we don't live in this realm. You know, you leave realms when you start thinking because they're they're fucking weird. They're weird. Okay. <laughs> they're weird. You can still be who you are. All right. And I feel like something about this situation is heartbreaking. Something about it is devastating. <laughs> it could be the death. Possibly people died around this person. They're in, this person is so fucking strange. Okay? They're so strange. And it's like, you don't have to carry that on. Now, when it comes to your conscious thoughts, it's like you just feel like something fucking was going on. You feel like maybe a blood sacrifice. Oh, my fucking God. You might feel like it was a blood sacrifice. You might feel like he was trying to do something sketchy in this situation. Is he going to jail? He's getting cuffed. He's definitely going to get some reparations for his ass. He's going to go through some destitution. He's going to be blocked. Some, some area of his life is going to be totally blocked. <laughs> the sound waves. <clears throat> the vibes as well. He's not gonna get the same vibes. <laughs> niggas have seen him. Niggas peeps, and they're and they're they're pulling off on him. He's not worth the money, is what I'm hearing. Listen, I don't have nothing negative to say about this person. I feel like I, I can't read this type of character. I'm gonna watch my mouth, you know. But at the same time, you know him, so you know. But this person is like, oh. I, but I, you're definitely saying goodbye. Like like um, is this in sync? <laughs> okay, come on now. All right. Yeah, it's insane. Come on, Justin. All right. Let's go, honey. Mm -hmm. Come on now. And he might be Justin. And he might be like an Aquarius. This is Justin, by the way. <laughs> and his whole band and stuff. <laughs> You know, they're fire, but here's the thing. He's ungrounded. Okay? He's ungrounded. Um he's he's he knows he knows. But I feel like you guys, this person, if they're not stepping over this and admitting this in themselves, they're going through cat catastrophic events. Okay? This is this is the time. This this is the time where if he didn't decide to step into his power and embrace the fact that he's completely just like who he is, then he is going to start, he's, he's going through destitution at this time. So if he's going through something catastrophic, it's because he won't admit that he's the one doing it, is what I'm hearing. Okay? That's why. It's because he won't admit that it's him. All right? That's why he's going through that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. So let's hear from um, the, like, the um, lover's oracle cards. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, Libra, you guys are dating, okay? A brunette female with children, okay? And she's an ice queen. Some of you guys are dating, especially if you're a brunette female. Um, there's an ice queen who has children, okay? There's all these energies have come out today for you guys, and we're going to read on them. The underlying energy is that there's a mature man who there's a triangle with him, okay, between true love and a blonde female. So there's a blonde female in his life that's a true gem to him. 
in the sense that this might be a beauty queen. It might be somebody who he knows from work, who's a friend of his, who's a soulmate, but they might have been together for a short term, right? As a past love, this man, he's tied between um, a beauty queen and his twin flame and work. You know, this person here, you know, there's a mature man showing up here. Now, here's the thing. If you're not dealing with a mature man, don't worry about that. You guys, money here is on the table. So you guys, if you're a young female dealing in a long distance connection, you're going to get some money. All right. Money is going to come in into your love life and improve it. Improve your love life. Okay. And then you guys are dating a brunette female. There's a brunette female who is dating somebody. Okay. You guys are going to be dating. And then there's also um, something here around children. Your children are calling. They're going to be dying for your attention. Trust me. And then also you guys are dealing with an ice queen here today. Okay. So you guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.